so I'm really not a tutorial making kind of guy but I thought I would do one with my time-lapse uh, plus view just to show quickly how I do uh, bulb ramping so it's about 7 o'clock p.m. It's almost dusk so should be a couple hours long but anyway so I have this thing mounted goofy because I'm sitting literally shooting straight up in the air so uh, you can do a couple different things here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to time-lapse uh, exposure or time-lapse mode and I'm gonna do auto ramping we also have the option of basic fixed but I want it to auto ramp through the night so I'm gonna go to interval mode leave it at auto variable and then day interval so during the daytime I'm gonna have eight seconds between my shots and my night shots I'm gonna have 14 seconds one thing that's important to uh, note is your night interval starts from your beginning of your exposure so if you take a 10 second exposure you will have a or if you have a 14 second interval and a 10 second exposure you will only have four seconds in between them um, it's it took me a minute to figure that out and I was wondering why it would ramp my ISO up so high and not my interval but I had my interval set really super low and it was basically going off of off of that go to ramping options um, I want my night exposure to be negative 1.6 um, my max ISO uh, 8,000 yeah, yeah, I'll leave it at 8,000, or I'll put it at 8,000. Minimum ISO 100 because during the daytime, that's what I'm gonna get. My max shutter is at 15 seconds. And then my ramp parameters, I wanted to do my shutter first and then my ISO. So, go to that, we'll go back, and then I can start it. The only thing that I didn't do is set my exposure looks like my exposure is just slightly under that's very important to have this exactly on because when it ramps it it ramps it based off of your histogram or off of the histogram so anyway looks like it's pretty good go back up to this and I will start it and here it will give you uh, if anything happens invalid ISO setting on the camera so you need to tell it where you're going to start your ISO because I have it on auto so I will do let's put it at 100 and now start I'll take a second and now it's gonna run